I V M. Ayushi, before we are on, we are on air, right? Ayushi, now you want to tana maro me now? We're on air. We're on air. Oh my god, no, you can cut this part out, right? Why? I love these kind of openings where the audience is like, oh, what were they discussing before they went on it? Basically, I was just telling Tash that um, she should go hang out with her celebrity friends because um, she seems to be picking them over me. <gasps> and I was not too happy about this <laughs> on this fine uh, December morning. Afternoon, actually. Sorry, my bad. Welcome back to yet another episode of Agla Station Adulthood. And this is a very special one. It indeed, it is indeed. <laughs> because it's the last one of 2019. And it's also episode number 19. What up? That's In case insane. you're wondering, we did plan it like that. It's insane. We have worked the entire year to plan it in such a way. This podcast is the most thought through, well planned and structured <laughs> podcast in the world. And um, <laughs> obviously you would have guessed that if you've been listening, you just know how prepared we are on a weekly basis. Yeah. And today, as you can see, you probably can get a sense that we're recording this earlier in the day based on the energy in our voices today. I also have a lot of energy because it's that just before I'm about to eat lunch. Oh. So I'm kind of like uh, desperate to get everything out so that I can go stuff myself. I she's hangry. Because I've started intermittent fasting. How's that going? Uh, today's day seven. And how's that going? <laughs> um, I'm doing the... Uh, I eat from like two o'clock to uh, 10 Mm. o'clock at night so it's difficult for me because I'm a very breakfast person can I tell you one thing though in in this little Mm. so I have read in my research about intermittent fasting Mm. that for women it's okay if you fast 14 to 15 hours you don't have to do a 16 hour fast so if you want to start at 1 you can do 1 to 10 also it won't be bad I can, but currently yeah. I'm in the studio, so I can't start. So no, today no, will fair. be 60 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. There was another uh, another article that my mom sent me where she said the actual best way to do intermittent is to do it by the sun mm-hmm. times. Mm. So you eat and b- basically yeah. you eat between sunrise and sunset and then you don't eat after that. That's... But I do yes. find that a bit difficult because if you work post sunset, how which is you normal, how, how do you manage? Correct. Anywho, this is health episode, nahi hai, although everyone is taking care of their health extra. And end of season. year, it's like wedding season, so you want to start. And I think if I kickstart in December, then come Jan, I'm not like desperately trying to start a new resolution. It'll just be a continuation. Agreed. Aha, life hack listeners, to stick to your New Year's resolution, start in December. So, you know, I did this last year, my 100 healthy days started in December. And I cruised well into it into January, which yeah. was great. So it's a good hack, actually. Yeah, it's a good one, I think. And because so that uh, come Jan, you're not shocking your system into, uh, you know, cutting down X, Y, Z things from your life. Anyway, you shouldn't be cutting things out totally. I think moderation is key. We don't learn that. I have not learned that. Neither. So shall we um, get on with the episode? <laughs> Aren't we getting on already? We are discussing our dietary habits last year, December, vis-a-vis this year. But we said that we were going to try to do the um, signposting. signposting. Talk to me about it, Ayushi. Tell now. So we thought that for this episode, we'd do it as a wrap-up because uh, it's the last one of the year and we are off on a holiday. Not together, unfortunately, Mm. separately. We're both taking a couple days off towards the end of the year. From each other. We just need some time apart. (laughs) Uh, with family, <laughs> our blood, blood family, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So before we get back, it's going to be a while before we get back into the studio again. Mm. So we thought that we'd take stock in terms of Jan to December 2019. Yeah. Also, it's kind of nice too when you've walked down a path for 12 months to then stop and be like, oh, hello, where have we come now? What's happening here? Yes. I what think flowers do we find in this part of the woods? And Tash, you too love to reflect. You know me, man. I just want to call reflector. When I, uh, when I texted her asking her, so how do you want to do this? She said, I just love to reflect. I can keep on talking. I told Ayushi that this can be a two-part episode. She I was said, like, no, 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 much, no. dear. I was like, no, no. What's going on in it? People love to hear us chit-chat. And as true as that might be, I don't think we need to dedicate two hours to it. Whatever. Okay. 
So signposting, we're going to do a reflection of Jan versus December. Mm, nim, 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 nim. <laughs> then we will stop at how have you changed slash progressed? Like what are the main things that you see as a change? <laughs> After which we will do what have you learned? What are the big lessons that you learned this year? Teacher, teacher, will you teach me some lessons? Uh, and your top triumphs and your worst failures. Whatever. Failures. No, and then no, she also she also wrote as a point and some funny anecdotes. <laughs> so we will end with some funny anecdotes. I thought it would be nice to share one to humorous anecdotes <laughs> of adulthood with you because why not? Yeah. So let's start with you because you've been mocking me for no <laughs> apparent reason. Feeling very playful today. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy. <laughs> Josh, please. <laughs> I need to put. I love to trouble Ayushi when she's already on edge. So I know that her lunch hour is half an hour. It was half an hour ago, and now it's half an hour ago. 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 And now it's half I can actually I can devote an episode on how much I dislike Rupee Kaur. Anyway, um, this episode I feel like you're going to get new followers and mad traction just for that. Just because I'm saying I'm against Rupee, you are on the majority side of the internet. It appears. <laughs> Thank God. Anyway, so this uh, it just said um, it. She, the author, she, the poet, she wrote, "We are like uh, December and January, separated by a moment, but actually." A universe apart because they're so close together, but, but also are, so far. Exactly. And I, even though it was a one of those online poetry blog <laughs> grams, which I'm not a fan of, uh, I like this one. Yeah, it I was, really like it. Also. It's a good thought. Yeah. Because um, the end and the beginning are, are so close together, but when you're in the beginning, the end seems so far away. That's so true, and that's what I meant. No, by January feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it does. Even though it wasn't, it was 11 months ago. Um, the memories are also not that like vivid. I I have to say it's like I can't say it's been a very remarkable year in terms of like very big highs for me. Okay. But it's not been a year in terms of very big lows either. It's been one of those years which is pretty much like average most of the time. But don't call it average. We can say consistent. It's been right? cons- it's been a consistent because year. I think the f- yeah. one of the first episodes we did was when I I think very vehemently asked people what's wrong with being average. And I think what I meant by that was what's wrong with being consistent. Correct, because we so, also expect a lot of drama and excitement from life. I mean, you know me. Yes, I thrive <laughs> off drama at large. But this year has been slightly more thanda in terms of that. I think maybe that's what adulthood is all about. Also, yeah, just, just like, consistency and getting a grip over the drama in your life. Uh, definitely, this year has been better. Jan vis a vis now. I started therapy in April, so now I can proudly say I have been in a. At a therapy attending adult for eight nine months. That's really good because that's a yeah. step that you took um, for yourself. Yeah. And you really have um, enjoyed it. You're seeing the benefits of it as well. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I think you do well, and I in turn because I'm a scaredy cat. I love that you go to therapy because I just ask you. So what did you learn this week? <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to be like, ha ha. Even I went. So I'm glad that you go to yeah, therapy. That's been a very good uh, addition to my year, and I think that somewhere has helped me to maintain this kind of balanced, mm-hmm. uh, equitable distribution of stress and joys through the year. Um, yeah, you say now. How was your Jan 2019 vis a vis December 2019? How do you feel differently as a person, as a feels, as a an adult, as a everything? Uh. I think it's been a it has been a big year. I think it's been a big year for me because just from a lot of life lessons and things that I've uh, learned about myself, hmm. uh, it's been a very introspective year. And yeah, I will say that I finally feel like I found my rhythm at work, which is awesome. Which took me about a year and a half to find, and I'm truly enjoying. That in the sense that it's not great every single day. Hmm. That's for sure. As I've been telling you lately, it that's hasn't life, been easy. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, 
I'm glad to be where I am now because I have been able to do a little bit of signposting mm-hmm. for myself in my professional life. That's awesome. Like I've been able to set some, like since the last one month, since the last actually two months, I've been able to set little milestones for myself. And I think that I should be able to hit about 80% of them, which I think is going to be a win. I will chalk that down. That's I think even 75% I'll chalk yeah, yeah. down as a win. Distinction. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so in that way this has been a good year because I think I threw myself into it um, which maybe I was holding back from earlier or maybe I just hadn't found the thing that was clicking but it has now so touch wood or bite your tongue whatever you want to say I'm happy with that Um, personally in terms of the amount of joy that (laughs) Uh, I found in my life this year has been great because a lot of my closest and dearest friends have found so much joy and uh, have reached these new chapters in their life that I've gotten to go on that ride with them. Mm. Like uh, friends of mine got married. Some of them have gotten engaged to be now married. You moved out and you have your own home Mm. and you found that domestic little thing. And Mm. um, yeah, I've in a genuinely in a very unselfish way seeing them reach these milestones has been very exciting because a lot of them they've wanted things for a very long time so seeing them get it has been very satisfying feel like oh she's held out for so long and she's waited for so long and that's nice to see actually that's true so overall I I liked this year it was a good one I, I have no I don't have any major complaints neither neither uh yeah, we can go into like lessons learned and all of that. But I would say overall, not a lot of complaints. I didn't feel like saying, oh my God, this year has just been going on and on and on. A l- just a lot happened. A lot has happened. That's true. A lot has happened. Yeah. And you're right. Maybe it's not been like super high or super low, but things have happened and events have taken place and we've been able to see that, oh, uh, three months versus now, it's been change has happened and also in all of this Aishi we also gave birth to a glass station yes, adulthood which yes. is pretty wild um, I would say I, I was January, put that I didn't in, think that we, I'd have a podcast in this. not at all yeah. because we only came into a pilot or audition or whatever you want to call it I think in like May. April or May yeah so it's been so long for us as well insane uh, I was going to put that in my um Triumphs of the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is a triumph. I will say that this is a triumph. We'll talk that, to track about it. We'll talk about, <laughs> we'll our track about tri- it later. triumphs later. So, do you see any personal change in your personality? It's <laughs> a bad sentence. You know, I wish I said I could. But I have to say I have become better at recognizing and rectifying my reactions quicker. So say, that is a change. Yeah, that is a change. Then you can say that. So, in January... If I am upset about something, I will continue to be upset for some time. Yes. And just enjoy the upset. Now in December 2019, I got upset. I quickly realized, damn, shouldn't have, this was too much, not necessary. Quickly resent and be like, okay, chalo, it's done. Now let's move on. But also wish I hadn't gotten upset. So now I have the awareness, but I'm still not equipped with that thing of mastering my emotions. Which How? funny is this that this is the exact opposite for me yeah because I feel like this is the year that I finally let myself feel things Mm. like I let myself feel bad (laughs) about things that made me feel bad because for the longest time I used you know you are a suppressor you are an immunosuppressant (laughs) exactly so I think anytime there was maybe a high or a low in terms of an emotional range I never really allow myself to sit in that for too long because I'm like you don't want to fully explore it ever yes but this year I think I took the time to be like with a lot of help from my friends Mm. namely you You get that. Mm. Actually, I should say your therapist gets the benefit because I have, that's the trickle down (laughs) effect. Um, I will say that that was, for me, that's a change that I now allow myself to be upset. Mm. I take time to be like, oh, we are upset for this reason. And this is why we can hold on to it for a little time. 
and then and I can, really I can like say up. this as a witness to why she's upset <laughs> and you know you're, you've decided for yourself okay you know I'm going to be upset over this thing for X amount of time and then when that X amount of time was getting over you were like okay I'm, maybe I'm still a little upset I can't totally be like this which is, is big for me which is huge where you decide okay X plus Y thoda aur time de do khud ko yeah because earlier I think and anyone who listens to us consistently you will know that I keep telling Tash enough now too many feelings mm. shut it down uh and while that is something that the two of us bants about so mm. don't get like affected by by what i say to yeah, her yeah. as a listener i mean um but you're right i have begun to allow myself that which i like now <laughs> and it's good it's, it's been very good. nice very nice i like that munna and i like that we did the opposite yeah i'm trying to be a slightly more uh, in control and <laughs> she's trying to be a slightly more less in control less in control fluid with the feelings yeah beautiful what a what a revolution what a revelation yes revelation <laughs> <laughs> the revolution is coming though listeners That's it's coming true. 2020 i think is going to be the year of a revolution kuch to hai abhi chal raha hai yeah no no it's coming yeah i will be there in it please join <laughs> I'll uh, text you. <laughs> All. Um, okay, so that's on a personal change or personal development that changes, you've seen. Yeah. Uh, the next one was what have Wait, you learned? But you said that oh. this was. Like, I said mine, and then you thought of yours. Is that the one you wanted to share anyway, or did you have any other personal changes you wanted to share? Oh well, I was going with that one. Okay, that as, was your as big one. As a get go, that's yeah. the one I thought of this morning when I was just thinking like, oh. like you know in the shower when you take stock yeah i do a lot of shower stock right right and i do a lot of shower talk as well <laughs> to yourself to, oh my god oh i my am god. my best friend i want to be a fly on this wall i have so many um conversations in the shower give us a snippet just a little one line well i win a lot of awards in the shower <laughs> just one line no um <laughs> so embarrassing okay i'll be like uh You know, back when we started this podcast, we didn't think it would lead to this. <laughs> And as we stand here in as guests on a panel for women in media, did we think that this is where we were going to be? No, Tash, we didn't. But what a ride. And <laughs> what an honor. What an honor indeed. Because in the shower you can be delusional. Dude, yes, I've also learned this. I've started talking loudly to myself also now and I didn't used to. I also do like a um, it's not all just crazy like I do have these moments where I'm just having a full babble by myself <laughs> uh I make up things also but one time I was I was on a talk show oh. like I was a guest on a right, talk show right. like a late night talk show Got like it. Conan it's Got my it. favorite one to pretend that I'm a guest nice and um obviously I in this thing I was married to Chris Evans Oh, nice, nice. I'm 27 years old, by the way. You can easily marry Chris. No, What's no, the no, no. I'm saying that I still do this. But I'm like, ah, uh, maybe there's a universe in which I could, you never know, meet cutes happen. It could happen, Ayushi. It is not entirely unbelievable that you and Chris cross paths. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Chris Cross is a different person. <laughs> I don't want I to cross paths with Chris. Chris. <laughs> cross was my joke with Chris Evans. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I have a full scenario where that could work out if you would like me to hypothesize, but you know, it, after after I'm we'll telling talk. my theory, ki, like, how it could Remember happen. Remember the theory that I texted you about the one where you were shooting and then we yeah, got a star yeah, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. So that also I thought of. It's uh, sometimes in the shower I think of that one. See, so sometimes I she. <laughs> She thinks of like my bright future also in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I do. Me. And then I tell her, I said, "This is what I imagine because I am in that bright future, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, get with it." Basically, we are saying you may grow older, but you will never stop daydreaming and shower dreaming, and that's lovely. And I think as long as the shower dream is confined to the shower, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Aishi gives herself herself dream time in the shower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solid. It's your scheduled. structured dream time yes and then after that when you when you're out you're like okay now you should do a little sign posting for the day like mm. what do we have to do but that also gets done in the shower like on a monday shower there's no time for this because i'm always late it's fair 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 so i don't have time for this oh no sunday shower is a lot of this yeah, yeah. daydreaming <laughs> i can imagine because any little 4 o'clock i've not shower <laughs> hmm anyway we've digressed i was going to say one more thing about my personal journey this huh. year 
um i think i have learned my worth more at uh, the job as a career person as a person who is uh, in the world of working as a professional i'm just saying words which are sounding professional right now but what i mean is as a just a working adult, individual a right. working adult i finally feel like you know what i am damn good at my job you can't take me for a ride i finally feel like i know my shit at least little bit that is huge by the way yeah that's yeah. huge yeah because i think and it goes back to even what i said and what you we've been talking about is when you hit your stride in one aspect of mm. your life eventually it's going to start trickling into the other For ones sure. because you that sense of confidence that comes from knowing what you're good at versus what you're not right when we talked about it yes. in confidence in that episode Correct. that really helps you um to build something on a very real and structured foundation because you know that this is solid you got this this is what you're capable of your worth is x then you can build on top of that very nicely and the and the foundation is solid then correct so yeah that's all I wanted to share with that's you that's good yeah. that's good and i'm glad that we're both uh, finding some sort of security in our professional lives of course bouts of insecurity appear that's yeah, life which but we, finding more yes, security than exactly. insecurity is a game now nah. that is it dear i don't think even um, like my father who's been working for over 30 years now there are days where he For looks sure. at something is like i don't know how this is going to work out mm. i don't know how this is going to play out but if 85% of your time is secure then i think that's that's a battle one great great uh, next topic is what have you learned i think this overlapped no with what i said about personal journey yeah fair, journey. fair 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 but what have we learned just in terms of like trivia Anything interesting you've learned this year in like just random general trivia you want to share? Yeah, so this year I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I finished Sapiens and Twenty First Century Lessons. Amazing. Uh, by Yuval. What have you learned from there? too many things now and i think it's one of those things where you read so much that you actually forget, forget that you've learned yeah. it but it does come up more in your conversations and i think that both those books are really good um sort of guidelines to seeing the world around you in a more in, in a way more interesting way and it helps you think more laterally okay so you don't look at um a person's reaction as just that person's reaction you kind of look at it in the context of Everything, where they're coming yeah. from what society they are and i think it gives more credence to things like anthropology which perhaps we don't consider as such a high or important study but it is Even because it is it's so important the relation yeah. of man with the society around him that's really it's everyday life essentially yes. yeah and i think because we have so many struggles in our country at large when it comes to our society it's very important to read these kind of books or listen to them or i don't know, pick up certain lessons from them only because it helps you be a more open minded and mm. accepting person mm. i think at least so that way i like just from learning that's been good a lot of good books this year i i i'll put out a um aisha's reading list yeah but there's i mean they're not all great there are people who who have much better reading list that you should for uh, sure but like you know um gates and uh obams <laughs> obams <laughs> he puts out a great end of your reading list and he puts out a good um playlist as well of all What the songs and music that he li- and he Oh my my. <laughs> so smooth. He has good taste. Yeah, and I can see how he got Michelle. Fair fair. So yeah. Nice. It's a good one. Are you sure free time mein Michelle aur Obams ki bhi love story ke bare mein sochti hai? Matlab I like to think I'm in it. <laughs> Once again, I just insert myself in other people's relationships. <laughs> um But yeah, in terms of what you've learned that, I think I've also learned uh We learned how to podcast. We learned how to podcast. I think I've also learned because I have seen certain relationships like flower and certain relationships mm. fail. So wow. I've um, noticed that ek to nothing is perfect, nothing is forever, and just these things which you hear, you you hear them all your life, and you think ke ah, theek hai, hoga, it must be whatever. But we don't know. It's not in our experience. Yes. So now I think this year we've had a chance to at least I, like we've seen and we've seen it in our own friends circle yeah. I think. Um the how much of a role relationships play in your life and how 
uh, they affect you I and think how for better you, and for worse exactly yeah. so that's the thing like relationships at large I yeah. think have made a big uh, learning curve like the, in, for me for both yeah, yeah same same, same. Yeah, yeah. I think bo- this is something that we've also discussed that this year has yeah. been big for relationships yeah like even in my personal uh, romantic relationship I feel like there has been a lot of evolution and mm-hmm. learning this year yeah there has um, been I, she's <laughs> witness to of course everything as she, you know she inserts herself in all relationships okay but this one I've been invited she's to. She's been invited. She's so, part of it. Yes. Yeah. And I am, um, and I have seen the growth in it, I will say, in this one year. That's definitely. Yeah, it's been, and for the better. For sure. For, for the sure, better. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> we should have that. For the better. Yeah. So, ye to maine seekha hai, is sahal. I think one thing that um, became really evident this year was, you know, when we tell each other, dude, the decisions our friends make, we're adults now. Hmm. So, People are going to make the choices that they do. And what you have to do is just be there for them yeah. if things go south or be there for them when things will go well. Yeah. And that's as much as you can do. Yeah. And I always used to say that that's not the way that you should be a friend. I used to have trouble accepting that because my thing was like, if I think... We want to get all up in it, yeah. And not just up in it. I feel like if I think my friend is going to make a massive mistake, I just at least want to say that... Watch Look, out. maybe yeah. I could be wrong, but I think this is a mistake. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what I've learned this year is that, you know what? People, like, people just be people, you know? Yeah, and like, everyone's going to make their own mistakes in their own time and we're all going to learn from them. Yeah, shout out to our friend, uh, Ria. She, uh, this was a conversation we had earlier this year where I, where I was just telling her, I was like, no, I just, I disagree. I fundamentally think that this is like wrong or this person is like this or you know whatever and she said but Ayushi that's not your job your job is just to be there when things go tits up Mm -hmm. and that one sentence kind of shut me down entirely in a good way Mm. and I've just been saying that to myself the whole year yeah you just gotta be there when (laughs) when this goes tits up I will be there I'll be there for you when this day goes tits up yeah and that's all you can do. On that note, let's take a little break and then we come back and discuss the rest of everything. <laughs> the rest of everything. <laughs> okay, the rest yeah. of 2019. Okay, okay see you bye. on the other side. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'd also like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, Intel, Storytel, and Cambly. Check them out. They're a really good bunch of brands. This week in the spirit of Christmas, instead of giving you the long drawn out promo that I normally do, all I'm going to do is ask you to give me a Christmas gift. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey, fill out our survey and send it out to us. We'd really appreciate it. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Welcome back. Welcome back. Bienvenue uh, Volkommen Stuttgart. Guten Morgen. Stuttgart is not a welcome. It's a place. I just wanted to say some German words because my friend is visiting me from Germany very soon. Oh, so you're practicing? <laughs> yeah. I only know how to say Ich weiß dich nicht, which means I don't know. <laughs> I know how to say Ich liebe dich. Which is? I love you. Oh, it, I thought you were going to say I love dick. Uh, yeah, man, that too, man. Ich liebe dick. <laughs> Another thing you learn as you're a grown ass adult now, you know, it's okay to say I like dick. <laughs> Just go for it. Yeah, and I'm talking about spotted dick, the English dessert. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that sounds like the weirdest. I know, right? Well, I swear when I <laughs> saw it actually, and they usually bring it out around the festive period. So, what's the sweet dish? What's the sweet dish? Spotted dick. <laughs> It's like, why? Why would you call it that? Also, I do want to know, and if anyone knows this fact, please um, get in touch, is how the name Richard becomes Dick. Yeah. Please tell me. I've wondered this my entire life. You've wondered this? I have wondered Like this. you have walked what? around <laughs> thinking this? I've simply walked around <laughs> with Richard on one side of my brain and Dick on the other. Your walks, I I need to take your walks. I you think. really do, man. With Richard and Dick, it's a pleasure. They're both the same, though. <laughs> I know it's great, but they have two names. I like it. Anyway, on that note, yes, uh, this part of the segment is going to be triumphs and failures. Mm. So we already mutually we have one mutual triumph, which was this baby. 
Yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful triumph. A little podcast. Yeah, and thanks for listening. Yeah, you have made us who Ye- we are. Yeah. You have given us an identity. You have loved us. You have made me a delusional person. You have given us a lot of self-esteem boost. Yeah, and you know what? It came at a good time. Yeah. It came at a good time where I thought I was questioning myself a lot. Like, oh, maybe like, you know, you... I was having a little This is just what you needed actually. Yeah, I was having a crisis of self-worth. Yeah. And not to say that my self-worth hinged on the approval of strangers because I think I've said that it shouldn't <laughs> many times. <laughs> However, it was nice to put something out in the world and have it appreciated for the reason that I did it, yeah. which is to make someone happy. And for us to get to this time to sit and chat with each other and I have learned a lot from our uh, Yeah, same. weekly recordings. And I like I think you and I have learned from even just sitting in yeah. the sessions maybe yeah. even the people that we've had on the show. Yeah. Uh I don't like the word vogue. Uh, wow. Vogue uh, because I said word so the word vogue. Kaishi. I don't like the word vogue. Why? Well, w- 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 should we just do w words? <laughs> <laughs> no, because then it becomes difficult. Uh but I think I've become more aware. which is great which is i think the key that's a good triumph to have also definitely it is a good triumph same a little more aware oh man triumph also i think i've got a little uh, i've deleted twitter which is a great triumph i feel for oh, me oh that's something that i i feel like i need to do it but right now it's so entertaining no no fair fair you are my source you that's can't one second it. if i deleted what are you and i so i find out everything that's happening on twitter with from ayushi i ask her is what's happening give me the goss <laughs> And you know, Indian Twitter, there's there's just a lot that's constantly <laughs> happening. Lit. Um, it should be called litter, not Twitter. It should be called litter because it's also full of freaking trash. Really, no? Yes. Find a sick one today, a sick term. Yeah, I I read it on the litter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that's a good triumph that yeah. you and deleted also, one form of social media. And I think I've gotten. more okay on the whole i'm not i don't need to post every day on instagram also yes. because you know if that i post after 6 7 days no problem nobody has missed me i have yeah. not missed it you know those people that say hey guys i've been away and i'm really sorry i always wonder like who are you talking to i didn't even know you were gone although aisha as a as a legit celebrity That's i true. have to say people are like why you not posted any story today You get that there are fans out there who want to see if you're okay every day. That's sweet, I It's guess. It's great. Like to um reach out to someone. I <laughs> see if you had this you to pagal ho jati tum to. Nahi because I what I ah something I've learned this year. I have no desire <laughs> to be entrenched in this social media uh, media world Fair. at all. I Absolutely. have learned that. I should learn it. and i don't want it i think you you see it from outside cuz i think for me it was more like oh these people guys want free things huh. mine was very monetary i was like i want free items um but i have no interest in getting involved in that because it's just a uh, it's a jungle out there there are mm. no rules mm. i like rules i like structure <laughs> it's uh sometimes it's difficult because sometimes yeah. our own legal system is also like fully yeah. fucking flawed yeah. but um I I don't like this uh, public trial oh, that people that do. Oh, that way it's so. Oh yeah, it's been bad. Also, yeah, that's been one of the. No, and it's to constantly be scared about anything or everything yeah. that you say. It to come to the point where you can't even uh, publicly say that. Oh, I used to be unaware and I used to be this thing, right. but I'm trying to, to change. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. Even that now has become unacceptable. Everyone. That's why I don't like the word woke. woke I think is because yeah. everyone's just trying to out. Woke, woke each, each other, other. Mm, yeah. and it's become this thing of no, no, no. But I am X times more woke. That so this is all I've learned this year. Yeah, that I want no part of it. Good luck, Tash. No, I am also really not uh, that much of a part of it. Yeah, but I I want other people to realize that this is not something that you should aspire to. No, fair, get involved with. Fair. I think it's it it does take a toll on your mental health and things Big like time. that. Big time, and it's a huge world out there on the internet, ek to, and. Uh, It's not the real world. That's all I want. No, it's not say. real. Yeah, that's it's definitely the thing. not real. It's not real. And it does tie back to our confidence episode. For sure. Just like this, the sense of real versus not. That's something that I think I've realized this year is because you see people in actuality, as opposed to what they portray, and you're like, ah, 
beta there is full break between this yeah and there is no one on this earth who is perfect then they may be the most beautiful person with the most luscious hair and the best skin and the best body or all the money in the world or the most loving girlfriend or boyfriend or the nicest parents and there will still be something that they are struggling with and you're even saying it in terms of um, like the beauty aspect of what you see even visually everything like I, i'm seeing it even like if you are the smartest person yeah. in the world on the then you are to i see ek to we both understood that the smarter you are the more you will suffer in this world as we <laughs> the more you think the more fucked you are so it's so sad yeah the sometimes i also wish i wasn't you know as intelligent as i am i think um the issue is that when you get smarter the expectation is that you are going to be an involved person and you're going to make the right decisions and then the minute you make one misstep it's like but you are smart how how could you have said something like this or thought something like this you're like but it's an ever changing there's an evolution to your thought process you're allowed to evolve from and there's a certain kind i feel like really actually genuinely smart people will get your smartness or your dumbness or your journey towards it yeah and the ones that are having said hue and cry are not that bright themselves they're bored that's what they have too much time correct so yeah um, where were we uh i think the triumphs, triumphs and failures yeah so, so triumphs this- was uh, This is all part of lessons learned. In terms of a concrete triumph, I will say this one was one. Hmm. Um, and uh, um, any other wins? I have been work-wise. I've had yeah. a few like good ones. Good now. Yeah, you like, had your whole sugar order. I know that. No, no. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I just choked on my own spit. Um, work-wise, there were concrete. uh milestones that were achieved so i think that that was good great i liked that and i think i uh put myself outside my comfort zone a lot of times and uh it paid off like 6 out of 10 times it paid off so that was good that's amazing those are triumphs i will say and this one week of intermittent fasting is also a triumph for sure no because no, i am not a dieter yeah. <laughs> you will attest to this i do not know yeah. how to control yeah. a diet yeah so Uh, when we speak of diet, that'll come in my failures part. Because uh. you know how every year you have that one overarching thing. He like you always have that one resolution which never gets resolved. <laughs> <laughs> so you go on making the same resolution year after year. I think yeah. I've been making this resolution since I was twelve years old. I will lose weight this year. I will lose weight this year. Twenty twenty. No, no, I am not making set resolution anyway. This year, I am not interested in making this resolution. Only. Oh, please exclude you from this narrative. <laughs> yes, you can exclude me from this narrative because I feel one of the triumphs this year has been to genuinely be ah. at this uh, point of okay, yeah, this is for real. This is my body. We will go slow and we will be healthy. Healthy, even if that means it is a process which will take the next three, four, five years. Is it in the small changes? Yeah, of course it is. No. It's not that oh I've gone hard for eight months and I've lost all the weight and now look at me being a yashraj heroine, like now that's not like not it anymore. I feel not that that ever was. I mean it was when I was like eighteen or nineteen. Yeah. But it's been a while since then. So finally I've come to terms with this. Kid, you know what? It's great. Whatever it is, it's wonderful. I'm banging. I'm sexy. I'm beautiful. I'm attractive. <laughs> this is again an episode of Ritasha complimenting herself. <laughs> <laughs> That's also our theme, I guess. Of life. Uh, yeah, so this year there will be no such revolu- resolution of again to lose weight in 2020 just to be healthy, I think. I just uh, my uh I found a way to put all of them into one, which is discipline. Yeah. like to be more disciplined this Fair. year. So that means with any task you do have the discipline so whether that's like Everything. with dieting, working out, your a uh, job, uh, finishing a book, like whatever it is, like the yeah. discipline required to complete a task. For sure. I say this as if like I'm a super disciplined person, I truly am not. I want to be more. I procrastinated a big time this yeah. year. Yeah, so I think uh, when we do this episode hopefully next year <laughs> I hope to tell you slightly different things. Yeah. So that's uh, been one of my failures this year again is like not being able to stick to XYZ diet or hmm. exercise regime and then feeling shit about it and then again eating and then again feeling sad and then again but then 
early on in the year only i was like theek if this is not how it's going to be from here on out this is when we make the changes right yeah failure failure for me Tell me about your GMAT, Ayushi. That I was about to go and say. <laughs> I that don't want to yeah. tickle that, but I have to as your personal friend. So it wasn't. I okay. I will not say that was a failure. Right. I think it was to question whether I was doing it for the right reasons or not. Ah, oh, I like that because that's true. I like that, yeah. and uh, it's how I've come to terms with it. Is being like, yeah, I studied for it. I gave it once, and it didn't go well. I gave it a second time, and it it didn't go like wonderfully either. And if I was aiming for a certain level, let's just put it that way, I didn't hit that score. Hmm. And to me, if I'm wasn't at that level, I didn't see the point of even applying. Like, because I just had Fair. that in mind that I don't want to just go for the sake of it. I would want to go to a good school for a specific program for yeah. myself and my uh, job, Profile, like you know, in the future. Oh. But I think what happened this year, and this kind of ties in with finding my own. Um, finding my rhythm at work mm. was that i think i was doing this gmat thing in business school for the same reasons that i i did want to learn but also because i thought that i haven't found that special click at work yet so maybe this is once i go and i study i come back i'll be able to find that and apply that apply these values so i'll be able to find that click but your time at work itself has exactly. been so and rewarding exactly and then what started happening and i don't know whether it was simultaneously or it happened independently of each other was that i started finding joy in my job on a daily basis in this challenges in its own thing and i started finding projects that i could take up and turning them into small successes or whatever you call it so once you start doing that then like i said these milestones that i've set for myself they seem genuinely more exciting than mm-hmm. going back to school at the moment and i've said this to you guys i've said this to my friends in general i don't think i've closed the door on business school or further studies <laughs> <laughs> studies Love that. but whoa is you going abroad for further studies <laughs> yeah but i think right now i'm more excited by what's in front of me uh, directly That, that's me y- yes <laughs> and at work as opposed to running away from it Beauty. because now when i think of school i think oh my god i'll have to take a, a year to your break away yeah, from this yeah. what's going to happen while i'm gone correct correct and i think that is the the thing that i want to hold on so yes i did fail at it is that i didn't complete the entire reason why i started yeah because i remember earlier on in the year this was a big focus this we've was. been talking about your gmat for a while also yeah like, because i i think at the last point the last yeah. time i took it was in april correct so we were very involved all and that's when this us. started also yeah. so i'm telling you i i don't know how to explain it to you guys but it's like sometimes when you think that life isn't going the way that it's supposed to and you suffer some pers- yeah. not suffer but there are some setbacks in your life like um I mean in a very honest way like I thought that uh, you know I was in a fun relationship of sorts like what I was seeing someone yeah, yeah and I thought that was really fun and that was going decently well but then when you realize that you just have different priorities all together yeah. and that ends and then I feel like I was giving my gmat at the same time I wasn't really like I was working a lot but it wasn't to any specific end and then I swear I promise you So to anyone who feels like it's just not picking up, I promise you things turn around. Yes, for sure. And you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. But the universe just like delivers. Yes. Yes. And oh my god, you asked like right now, if I look back in December like where we were around Christmas time last year, I was like, yeah, it was very very different. But this year just seems more exciting somehow. That's true. I to- like you mentioned all this and I just totally forgot another major triumph I had this year and I can announce it now I shot for one Netflix web series yes! which is huge like man and I was like socha to tha but it was like shit yaar kab hoga kab hoga and then finally I'm like okay yes and it it's like it has been a good year yeah i'm not going to look back at 2019 and say do it just another fuck call no, your no, past no it was a good year no it was good the last of the teens and yeah and guys even if there were failures and there were a lot of setbacks or whatever you want to call them you learned from them yeah and you will i promise you you will learn we'll continue to learn there's no stopping yeah 
Oh, I will say a failure that uh, I should apologize to the listeners on this one. Because I think in the first couple of episodes, we talked about so much about online dating and putting yourself out there. <laughs> Aisha has not done so. I tried for like a month. And then I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was repulsed by the internet. Fair. That happens once a week. Yeah. And I also want to apologize, apologize to our listeners because in the finance episode we also spoke a lot about uh, this that and the other and I have to be honest with you. I haven't like saved much or like kept any details this year. I've been bad with my finances a little bit. That's okay. It's, yeah, yeah. And do you live and you learn. What else? Yeah. So next year you'll make slightly yeah. more forward like thinking. Down to like the most basic thing of like not even writing down the projects I've done and what payments are coming and all. So I've been like that bad. Okay. And that's like, that's really. like fully opposite of what we told exactly. them to do. Exactly. So I'm really sorry. I'm calling myself out here as a liar. Yeah. And I'm learning. <laughs> Uh, same. I also said you have to give people a chance. You can't judge based <laughs> on just the profile and the first meeting. And I hardcore did that. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> I was like, I think the first. <laughs> oh, this one's bad. If we're admitting. Yes. Fully rejected someone based on their name. Yeah, you oh even know. Oh my god, name. I don't know <laughs> this person's name. It sounds like an insect. But uh, no, don't even say that. <laughs> can't because it's, and I know that that's wrong. I fully, fully, fully accept that. <laughs> but I just, in my mind, all I was thinking during my shower sessions was, how will I say this name? How will you introduce? Uh, how will I like? I can't keep saying the name. Yeah. And if you are just turned off by the first name only of the person. How are you going to scream it when they make love to you? <laughs> Where you been there? I was more like, I can't say it to them. Fair, fair. And to my friends. Yeah. And you know our friends. The minute I even said this they name. They are just they monsters. Savage, all of them. Savage um, bitches. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I failed you all. I told <laughs> you all not to judge. I only judged. And... Uh, I, I, I straight up ghosted someone this year. Yeah, this yeah. is your funny anecdote. It's not funny because I'm pretty sure that person didn't find it. Funny. They were not laughing, and I didn't accept that I ghosted that person till I had a long conversation with Farhan. Actually, hi Farhan, and I was telling him, saying, "So you ghosted him?" I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. It's not that. I didn't ghost. I just like I stopped." Replying because then they took a really long time to reply, and I ghosted someone this year also, not a, like a date. Wait, who did you like ghost? Some work related something I've ghosted big One, time. Oh, we, who are you talking We'll about? chat about okay. this later, but I basically, I, now I've realized that I've also ghosted someone. Yeah, I, and then I realized that I've ghosted a second person <gasps> as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah. Okay, we're learning. Chalo. Chalo, we are aware, we are making rectifications. No, I think I'm going to keep, uh, like, I'm you pretty sure that... You don't have to message them. <laughs> no, yeah, this, <laughs> I'm also learning that. Sorry for ghosting you, but I will be not communicating <laughs> with you thus uh, from here on out. <laughs> Imagine if I actually messaged that person like that would be four great. months later being like, Hi, I'm so sorry for having ghosted you. Once again, I'm about to leave forever. <laughs> Just letting you know that this is just the last time I'm saying hi and bye. No, I... So yeah, I have a lot of... These are all things I'm going to work on next year. Great, great, great. These are my funny anecdotes also. For sure. The ghosting. The ghosting. Uh, I mean, there were other smaller funnier things, but now where to I start? I have just written funny anecdotes for fun because I thought Aishi will have some. I don't. I just have one sad story in which I relocated a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can't laugh about this. And I learned many lessons. The dog is fine now. It was an anecdote which really taught me how to grow up. Yeah. Yeah. But that was, like, I would say that was even borderline on, like, traumatizing because of the kind of... Correct. Um, just the way that it played out. Yeah, but also, again, on that one small note, I want to tie it back to our faith episode ah. and getting into that space of where we now can for lack of a better word, manifest. Yeah. And as you get older, I think you get more um, practice in that also because that is like an active thing one has to do on your subconscious level, like you make your brain work for you. Yes, of course. And I think that's something which I've learned and definitely want to uh, improve and take it further as I go. Because even for this Netflix you show, this. you know, I'd written a lot. Yeah. And I got it and I was like, wow. And the funniest fucking part of all of this, the most bizarre 
the day the dog was found the same morning i found out i got the netflix show so yes. that's just wild yes i was about to yeah, tell you like, can you please tell them the yeah, the, the combination <laughs> of the goodness of the universe yeah but i i think that you taught me that as well when in the first couple episodes of this i was like god it's so bad like it's not going to go anywhere no one's going to listen like are you insane are you kidding me now look at us we made it to a top uh, top list also this year which is crazy yes. remember when we were number 3 on apple and podcast s- and number 2 uh, yeah and ivm said that we don't have a uh, the you know the network they said that we don't have a season anymore like as in just uh, as long as you guys want to hear us <laughs> we're here we're here except we'll take a short break of course as ayushi mentioned during the uh, yes we are going to ta- that this is Christmas a good time to you guys yeah, we're yeah. going to take a little bit of a break in um jan we have uh, a lot of personal things like one of our best friends is getting yep. married um so and we're going on a tr- like some family trips we have some work commitments that are coming up so we're going to take some time out mm. not off air though like yeah you'll be seeing us episodes will still be coming out but and you'll be engaging with us on our uh, social media <laughs> Yes, of course, you guys. Come on, you, you've gotten like you've understood my uh, situation here. <laughs> I just to enjoy all of you. Um, yeah, just the sweetest messages on Instagram. Thank DM. you for Thanks listening so to much. us all year long. It's been a blast riding this train with you, Ayushi, and with all of you, our listeners. Oh, and. Uh, we would like to crowdsource some topics for next year. Yeah, you know what? Write into us. Let us know what you want us to Genuinely. discuss. If you want us to have anyone as a guest, or if you want us to explore any topics, yeah, Aisha and I would be happy to go through those. Because we, I think, like we said, we use this as a learning platform ourselves, so it'll be a lot of fun. Bindas. Yeah, and thanks again. Thank you. Oh, and we want to say thank you to uh, our producer Ritika. And Hi, Deep. Our sound By the recordist. way, if any of you are following the Chronicles of oh, Deep, Deep. <laughs> today when we both walked, he, and he said, "You all are looking what? fabulous." Fabulous. He said, "Fabulous, not Deep. Fabulous." You don't understand what a milestone this yeah. is. Oh, oh, he's speaking. See, <laughs> nothing. Now. He's done. <laughs> but thank you, everyone. And uh, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other. Interesting, interesting podcasts on the IVM network uh, you can listen to them on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcasts.com you can also follow us on our social media we are at IVM podcast on Twitter and Instagram and if you want to reach out to me which I know you do I am at Ayushi A9 on Instagram and at just Ayushi on Twitter and I am at Ritash on Instagram and we would love to hear from you Tell us your thoughts. This is a wrap on 2019 of Agla Station Adulthood. Happy holidays, happy new year and stay blessed. And stay responsible. Oh yes, always. Okay, peace out. Bye. Ghadi ki tik tik ke beech ab waqt ho chuka hai tapri pe milne ka. Chai ya coffee ke sath tapri tales sunne ka. सोचिए अगर आपकी मम्मी अक्का दादी नानी जीजी आजी भी आपके साथ इस चाय की टपरी पे एक चुस्की लेने आ जाए तो कैसी बातें होंगी उनकी कहानियाँ कितनी नई या पुरानी होगी एक्चुअली ना टपरी पे पहली बार ये उनकी जुबानी होगी तो मिलिए इन नए किरदारों से हर गुरुवार टपरी टेल्स पर चाय की प्याली एक नई कहानी विथ माधुरी अडवाणी ऑन आई पॉडकास्ट ऐप वेबसाइट और वेर यू गेट ए पॉडकास्ट फ्रॉम Do you wish you were smarter? Well, so do we. But the next best thing, we could make you sound smarter. And to help you with this endeavor, we are simplified, Ooh. a podcast uh, that attempts to break down the complex world around you with a uh, little knowledge, a lot of poor jokes, and a ton of random trivia. Episodes out every Monday on the IVM podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts. See ya. See ya.